So uh, he, he ended up getting out. I, I went and found him myself. And when I looked at him, I was like, damn. That nigga looked just like me. Like a ghost. But hold on. So when did you tell your mom that you were inquiring about him or that you even found him or anything at all? After I had already found him. And yeah. met him face to face? Yeah. Then you, what was her reaction? Uh, it was just kind of like a awkward silence. And then we kind of just like brushed it under the rug. You know what I mean? Like just being honest because... I mean, shit, I was already a, a man at the time. Right. I, I had a baby on the way at 17. Mm. So, you so, know, I was doing my thing already. So how old were you when all of this transpired? 18. 18. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. We bringing a little bit of different twang to it. You know what I mean? Like, okay. we, gonna, we mixing hip-hop and country. She digging my spurs and my white teeth. And she saying my words and acting like me. Got a brand new truck, Hollywood up, G. Cowboy, boss, I'm a beast mode. You can't even say that because DJ Chose just said that he branching off into the country because he his um alter ego is what's his other name? Norman again? West. Gotta forgive me. I got a little bad blood with the man I was when I left them promises empty. Norman West. <laughs> my boy be on it. Yeah, so yeah. he's branching off into that Facts. category. And he actually doing straight country. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, what I do is, it's just me. It's my lifestyle. You know what I mean? It's not something that I'm trying to do is who I am. I'm a rapper by horses. I'm a rapper by my life, the struggle, the come up. You know what I mean? Being at the NFR and being in the trenches with my guys and riding horses down the boulevard. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. Okay, so tell let, a, let our audience know a little bit about you. Um, Can you say you're rapping about all these things? But we want to hear about these things right now. Like... Where you were raised? Cause you're raised in Houston, you said. Yeah, South Side. South Side. Um, when were you introduced to horses? Um, your mom and dad were you raised with both parents? How many siblings you have? The whole works. Go ahead. All right. So I come from the South Side of Houston. Mm -hmm. Raised by my mama. Uh, I ain't meet my father till I was like 18. You know what I mean? Why? Yeah. Um, he was locked up. Okay. The whole time from. I never even knew who he was. She never told you. Nah. Did she know? Yeah. Just checking, cause some yeah. women don't. Yeah, she knows, okay. Uh, it was so just, how how did she tell you, and um, or did he just come find you and say I'm your daddy? I found him. But so who told you he was your daddy? My godmother. Okay, yeah. you went to her asking her. Nah, so like he said, I'm an interesting dude. Um, okay, tell me the story. Back then, I used to do tattoos, mm -hmm. and I was doing my honor tattoo. Mm -hmm. She was like, "What? How do you get to the more you look like the man?" I'm like. I don't look like nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I ain't look like my mama or nobody in my family. She was like, JP. And I, I, how I find him. She was like, when your uncle called you, ask him about him, which my uncle was currently incarcerated for a murder case. Okay. And he was gone for like 20 years. You and know this is saying? your mom's sister? Yeah. I mean, your mom's brother, I mean? Nah, this was the guy. godmother's uh, brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, when he called me, I'm like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Who is JP? And, he kind of lights me up. He was like, we'll talk about it later on when I get out. I'm like, nigga, you in jail for a murder. How right. the fuck you gonna talk about it? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, so just so happened, he was getting out like two weeks later. Wow. Um, That's why he said that. Yeah, it was around Christmas. And uh, he came home. I found his people before he came home. I looked just like him. Oh, so he was getting out two weeks later? Yeah. Oh, your dad. So how did you know that, how did you know that he was getting out two weeks later? How did you find that out? My uncle finally told me. He was like, oh, he went on and told he you? He was like, yo, man, locked up. Woo, woo, woo. So uh, he, he ended up getting out. I went and found him myself. And when I looked at him, I was like, damn. That nigga looked just like me. Like a ghost. But hold on. So when did you tell your mom that you were inquiring about him or that you even found him or anything at all? After I had already found him. And yeah. met him face to face? Yeah. Then you, what was her reaction? Uh, it was just kind of like a awkward silence. And then we kind of just like brushed it under the rug. You know what I mean? Like just being honest because, I mean, shit, I was already a, a man at the time right. I, I had a baby on the way at 17 mm. so you so, know i was doing my thing already so how old were you when all of this transpired 18 18 yeah um, how did you what did your dad say to you for the first time when you saw him face to face shit he looked at me like i looked at him like damn you look just like me oh really yeah and she was it was he kind of tried to make up for you know what i'm saying not being there and shit mm -hmm. but how? How do you make up? You can't make up. It ain't no making up from that. But at I mean? the end of the day. But he was locked up, though. So it's not like exactly. he had a choice at that time. Yeah, but he knew. So you're saying he could have. No, but you're living with your mama. He couldn't just call you. Or write you. Man, We I'm from the same neighborhood where that man grew up at. You know what I'm saying? They could have reached out to me some kind of way. You feel me? Like, 
But he probably didn't feel comfortable doing it, man. He might have felt like it was better he didn't even reach out to you so that you could just be who you are. And what if right. I feel like it was better if I didn't meet him at all? And then that would have been cool. He probably would have moved on because you you the one who <laughs> found him. He yeah. probably would have just left you be. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, But it was, it was a blessing because like, I was always curious to why I had curly hair, why I, why I was light skinned and my people was dark. You know what I mean? Like, what did he say to you? Like, like he he talked he talked to you for about an hour or so, or did he give you a day or what? Man, what did? I mean, I locked in with him because like I wanted that bond. You know what I'm saying? So when he got out, I made sure I took care of him a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I pick him up every day. Let's go do this. Do he was that. at the halfway house or something? Nah, he was out complete. He had done this 14 mm -hmm. years and came home. Wow. Yeah. Did you um? How, do you have a relationship with him now? So so, like I, I call and check on him. You know what I'm saying? Like just to make sure he all right. You have other brothers and sisters on his side? Nah, nah. It's just you the only son on him. on him. Yeah, you the only child with him. Yeah, that's probably he probably don't know what to deal with it when he was dealing with young. You got to realize, man, men be insecure in situations that won't even say nothing. You know, mm -hmm. we we cave men. You know that. And he comes from a different generation where you didn't talk about certain things. You know right. what I mean? Right. And then him. There ain't no excuse, though. Nah. There's no excuse. But what can change him? Is and I learned, that, I learned that from, See it. from my husband is the fact that if you every day call him and say, I love you, even if you don't get I love you back, you know, or just being there for him, it, you'll start to see his gradual opening up. But the difference is that you don't know how he was when he was younger. You can only hear stories from people around him like how he used to be. I think you know, I know what I mean? You think you know? Because he's still doing the same shit. <laughs> yeah, but you still, with forgiveness, you can change anything. Yeah, you I know forgive what I mean? him and I love him to death, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I can't change his situation until I change my own situation. Right. Correct. There you, you know go. Right. There you go. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.